Hey folks, welcome back to Love is Strange, uh, the Rachel Amber route. Um, uh, last night was fun, huh? <laughs> All right, back into it. Um, somehow I managed to wake up before my alarm, and the first thing I think of when I open my eyes is that today is the day that Rachel and I need to take our contest photo. I lie in bed, staring at the ceiling and wonder why I don't feel more anxious about it. I actually feel kind of calm. Maybe calm's not the right word, but I feel okay. I think it's because of the pact that Rachel and I made yesterday to go into this thing without any expectations or pressures. It feels like a huge weight is off my shoulders. I, I bet she feels the same way. Whatever photo we take, and whether or not we win, I know I won't regret trying. There will be lots of opportunities just like this one in my future. I just have to be brave enough to take them. My phone lights up with an alert. I roll over onto my stomach and fling an arm out to grab it. Rachel. Of course. Good morning, sun sh starshine. Rachel says hello. Photo time today. I'm stoked. Can you keep a secret? Maybe? I kept an extra muffin from you last night. That's how you get ants. The incense keeps them out. Incense. Well, what she said. Okay. Incense. It's really incense, I swear. <laughs> I'll prove it to you, and share my muffin. And also, we should talk about the plan for today. Come to my room. I'm like, right by your end of the hallway, right by your end of the hallway anyway. Been waiting for the bathroom to open up. I don't think I've ever been in your room before. Shit, you're right. I don't get the chance to invite pretty girls back to my place very often. <laughs> Hey, she, she calls this pretty. Guys, she calls this pretty. <laughs> I stare back at my. I stare at my phone. I can feel my cheeks going pink. I wonder what I should type back before deciding to play it cool. Wowzer, it's so smooth. Not smooth enough if you're still not getting dead ass out here. Oh my god, fine. I'm coming. I set my phone down and climb out of bed right away. I quickly get dressed and grab my facial cleanser and a few other things and then head out into the hallway. I spot Rachel right away. She's still got her phone out, thumbs swiping at the screen as she lingers by the bulletin board. So it's the day of reckoning. Rachel lowers her phone to greet me, smiling. So ominous. I'm not nearly as nervous about it as I was yesterday. Not anymore. Yeah, I'm feeling a lot better about it too. I noticed that Rachel has something tied to her phone case. It has bright red beads. Oh, it's the necklace I'd bought for her yesterday. I'm surprised to see it there, but then I just feel happy that she's even got it with her. I guess I must be staring, because Rachel notices. She brushes her fingers over the woven rope. This way? I can take it everywhere. I've got a super cute outfit I'm going to wear with it on Monday, though. I smile. She's not using it for its intended purpose, but I think this it works this way, too. I think it looks cute tied there. Like a charm for good luck. I think you got plenty of that already. A little more never hurt, especially for today. Rachel slips her phone back into her back pocket and gives a little nod of her head to indicate that I should follow. Come on. I trail Rachel down the hallway until we reach the very front. Rachel's door is one of the first you encounter when you enter the girls' dorms, but I never spent any time in it before. Sure, I've dropped by to say hi when Chloe's around, but I've never really been inside. I've only caught glimpses of it from the doorway. 
I stand back as Rachel inserts her key. That's unusual. Most of us just... Oh, inopportune burps. Ah! Most of us just leave our doors unlocked. Then again, I've been learning that Rachel is a girl with a lot of secrets. Oh, neat. Look at that. Now that I think about it, I'm not really sure what I expected to see in Rachel's room. I think bedrooms kind of reflect back a lot of the person living there. Anyone who entered my room could probably tell instantly what kind of person I am and what kind of things that I'm into. Yeah, what kind of things that I'm into. What kind of things. What kind of... What kind of things... Uh... That... What kind of things that I'm into. <laughs> what kind of things that I could possibly... What kind of things could I possibly be into? Huh? I don't know. <laughs> It's just a mystery. Well, I'm gonna leave you on my lap. You're my, you're my little sharp burb. Mm. Rachel's room is warm and full of light, with personal touches everywhere. I'm really tempted to examine the photos strung up over her windows, but I don't want to snoop right in front of her. She wasn't lying. There really is incense burning in here. The smoke gives a r the room a hazy glow. Here. I did promise. Huh? I'm so distracted from looking around Rachel's room that it takes me a moment to tune in. She's holding out half a muffin. Oh, you, you really don't have to share your breakfast. You're gonna need the energy for today. Accepting her reasoning, I reach out for the portion. The sugar should help get me going. It is still hella early. Yeah, you're right. We've got a big photo shoot today. And zero expectations. Yeah. I nibble on my muffin as Rachel's... <laughs> I don't know why that gave me a dirty thought. <laughs> God damn it. Uh, I'm 12 years old. I nibble on my muffin as Rachel shoves through some of those things sitting on her dresser. She picks up a tube of lip gloss, and I watch as she leans in toward the mirror to apply it. Still, I'm like... My head's all scattered. I talked to the agency this morning. You did? Um, how, how did it go? It went okay. I told them I still hadn't made up my mind. She straightens, turning her face one way and then the other, and she examines her reflection, looking anywhere but at me. Carefully, I step closer, joining her next to the mirror. I look at her in its reflection. Her eyes flick up to meet mine. Um, well, I think... I think that's okay, or I think that's good. Um. Ooh, that's tricky. Uh, I'm gonna stand up Rodimus while I'm thinking about this. I, hello, email. Jeez, Jen. God damn, I'm trying to do a show here. <laughs> uh. Uh, let's see. That's okay or that's good. Well, I don't want to be like... I don't be like, oh, that's good. You haven't made up your mind. It's like, I think that's okay is like a human thing to say. Like, would be a reasonable human thing to. Well, I'm gonna get rid of this notification really fast because it's really gonna bother me if it's in my face, glowing this entire time. And then, boom, there we go. Uh, let's go with that's okay. I think that's okay. They would never have given you the offer if they didn't really want you. Asking them to wait just a little longer shouldn't be a huge deal. They need you, Rachel. You're worth the wait. Oh. That's all Rachel says. And then she falls silent again. She's still leaning in towards the mirror. What is it? You're right. You're really right. 
I've got until the end of the month, and I am worth the wait. Rachel steps back from the mirror, and I do too. Suddenly, she's smiling again. Anyway, I wonder if the bathroom's cleared up now. I seriously need to finish my makeup. It's obvious from her tone that she's done talking about the contract for now. I manage to smile too, although there's still some worry in my heart. We can go check. I wave my hand over the incense burner. I know I just woke up, but it's making me feel sleepy again. Rachel's watching me, and I can't help but comment. Your room's really nice. I look around again, my eyes settling on the Hollywood poster above her bed and the dream catcher next to it. I wonder what Rachel dreams about. Thanks. Like I said, it's not, like, typical for me to invite cute girls back here. So, um, when's the cute girl arriving? Cringe. God, when I try to be playful like Rachel, I just sound like a geek. But her eyes seem to sparkle. The cute girl is free to come and go whenever the hell she pleases. Like now. I snort, unable to help it. Standing next to someone as pretty as you makes me feel like a gremlin. Like, I'm cute, but not really. Shut up. I'm way into you. What? No way. I didn't hear that right. I mean... She gives a confident wave of her arm. You're my type. I didn't sneak a kiss yesterday for nothing. Sue me, I want to smooch a cute babe. Who wouldn't? They had the chance. Um, well, I definitely didn't mind. Do you really think I'm hot, Max? I, I didn't say hot. Do you? Um, <laughs> yes, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. The thing, the funny thing is, is that I would probably say yep, because I'm a nerd. I'd probably be like, yep. <laughs> and like in that tone, I'd be like, yep. Well, that's not true. I actually play it a lot cooler. I'd probably be like, yeah. But on the inside, I'm like, yep, yep, it's super hot. It's super hot. Oh my god. That's like, like my internal struggle. My, my, my deepest, my biggest problem is that like on the inside, I'm like, yeah. And like on the outside, I'm just like, I don't. <laughs> so I'm like it doesn't. <laughs> yeah, what's up? Yeah, let's play it cool. Um, yes, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah or yes. I want to say yep because it's nerdy, but I'm going to say I think I'm hot. Uh, 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 this is the hardest choice I've ever had in this game. It's like all the same thing, but I want to say the right one. <laughs> Let's go with yeah. That's probably what I'd actually say. Y yeah. Embarrassed, I turn my face away. Isn't Rachel Amber's attractiveness kind of a universal opinion? In my defense, I'm just giving the answer anyone would give. Your face. Oh, you really are so cute. So the key is to let you tease me. You make it too fun and easy. Shit, I seriously got to toughen up. Let Chloe and I take you out to a show sometime. I look at the punk rock posters on Rachel's wall and hastily shake my head. Not that tough. Rachel laughs, sharp and clear, then picks up the hairbrush from her dresser. Come on, let's go to the bathroom. She gives it a little wave, indicating that I should follow her. You really can come visit anytime you want. I'll definitely keep that in mind. We make the trip back down the hall towards the bathroom. We're lucky enough to find it unoccupied. 
Rachel walks over to one of the sinks to wash her hands and touch up her makeup. I join her, turning the water on hot and leaning in to splash my face before I start to brush my teeth. I think I'll be really happy once we have this thing done with. Me too. I already feel pretty accomplished. And we haven't even taken it yet. I lean over to the sink. I lean over the sink and spit out a mouthful of foam, and her eyes meet again through our reflections. Mirrors. Cameras. The world is full of lenses and filters. Hey, uh, so do you think you're ready? For the photo shoot? Yeah. Rachel's voice is a little strained. Even beneath her impeccable makeup, she still looks tense. <laughs> Are you sure you're still up for this? You know what? I know everything's gonna be fine. Because you called me cute. Like, five times. Which means nothing bad could possibly happen today. <laughs> Listen, Rachel... Everything's going to be fine. I know it. No matter what happens with the contest. Yeah, I know. No expectations, right? At least I'll get to have this contract out of my head for an hour or two. I wish I knew how to help her not stress about it. Let me know if there's anything I can do. Just say the word, okay? You're something else, Max. No wonder Chloe calls you a superhero. I told myself yesterday that I wanted Rachel to trust me, so that I could try to help her with the things that seemed to burden her. I'm still figuring out how, but I think I'm getting closer to the answer. Well, Max, do you think you'll be ready to ditch them in the next five minutes or so? Because if we catch the next bus out, the next bus out, God, fuck. I clearly need to end this episode soon so I can drink something. Guys, the next bus out, we'll, we'll get some amazing light on the beach. Whoa, you want to leave now? Haven't you ever just looked at the sunrise? Just because? Now that I think about it, I... I guess I haven't. I never even thought about it before. I've seen plenty of sunsets... It's one of my favorite times to take photos. Whenever I think of the golden hour, I think of those short minutes before dusk settles in when the sun is still visible above the horizon. But I always forget that you can catch the golden hour at dawn, too. I've just never gotten up early enough to try. It's beautiful out on the beach, I promise. There's nothing like watching the sun come up over the water. That's when the light turns everything gold. And you just watch, amazed, because the world is such a beautiful place. She looks dreamy, her gaze somewhere far away. I believe you. So I guess we should get going. I can't wait to show you. We'll do this one in the next episode. Oh my god. Oh, oh my gosh. The, oh, the emotions. Oh, I've experienced very many of them. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Uh, I hope to catch you in the next episode. Mwah. See ya. <laughs>